Hi, this is Dr. Manfinio with Science Buddies, and in this video, I'll show you how to build your own telescope, also called a monocular or spyglass. To build your telescope, you will need two pieces of cardstock, tape, and two lenses. You can use any type of tape, but I am using electrical tape because it is slightly stretchy and that works well for attaching the lenses, as we'll see later. You will need two different types of lenses. A double concave lens, which is curved inward on both sides, and a double convex lens, which is curved outward on both sides. If you follow the link in the description, you can find links where you can purchase these two specific lenses. The curvature of these lenses is very slight, so it can be hard to tell the difference just by looking at them, but if you get them mixed up, when you're all done, you can simply flip your telescope around if you wind up looking in the wrong end. Since the lenses are curved, they bend or refract rays of light that pass through them. This can make objects look larger or smaller. This particular combination of two lenses allows you to build a telescope that makes faraway objects look bigger. We're not going to explain exactly how that works in this video, but if you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. To make your telescope, take one of the lenses and one of the pieces of cardstock. I am going to start with the concave lens, which will be the eyepiece, or the lens that you look into. Take the piece of cardstock along one of the short edges, and you're going to roll it up so the tube is the same diameter as the lens. Now, this is important. You do not want the lens to fit inside the tube. You want the outer diameter of the tube to line up with the outer diameter of the lens, and that's going to allow you to tape the edge of the lens to the outside of the tube. If the lens fits inside the tube, then you're not going to have a good surface to attach the tape to. So roll the tube up so it is the same diameter as the lens. Then you're going to use a few pieces of tape to hold the tube in place to prevent it from unraveling, and then tape the lens to the tube. So here I have taped the tube so it doesn't unravel and taped around the edge of the lens to hold it to the end of the tube. Next, you are going to take your other piece of cardstock and roll it up, again starting along the short edge, so it fits inside the first tube. I'm going to roll that up and slide it into the first tube so the two tubes can slide in and out of each other. This is going to allow you to focus your telescope. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put one piece of tape around the edge of this tube to prevent it from unrolling. You don't want to put too much tape around here or that could get stuck and make it harder for it to slide in and out. So I am going to put a piece of tape around the end of this one to prevent it from unraveling and then also take the next lens and do the same thing to tape it to the end of this tube. Again, notice how the outer diameter of the lens is about the same size or slightly bigger than the outer diameter of the tube. You don't want the lens to fit inside the tube because then it will be difficult to tape it in place. So here you can see I've taped that second lens to the second tube. You are now ready to test your telescope. Now your telescope isn't going to work if you try to look at an object that's very close to you. You won't be able to focus it. So you should try looking at an object across the room or looking out a window or taking your telescope outside. So I've taken my telescope outside and I'm going to look through the eyepiece, that's the concave lens or the one I taped to the first piece of cardstock that I rolled up into a tube. And when you look through the telescope, you can slide the two tubes in and out to focus it. If you look and things look smaller instead of bigger, that just means you got the lenses mixed up, so then you can just flip your telescope around. When you look through your telescope, once you adjust it to bring objects into focus, you should see that they look several times larger. For example, Look through the telescope here in this video to see the tree branch I'm aimed at, and then look how much smaller that branch looks when I move the telescope out of the way. For written instructions for this project and links for where to buy the lenses, check out the description below this video. For thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.